So again, we're looking at a system of three equations and three unknowns, three variables. And what we're going to illustrate with this example is that just like when we're solving equations, if we end up with uh, an untrue statement, an untrue equality, uh, that means that the system is inconsistent and it means that there's no solution. So in this case, we're given x plus 2y plus 6z equals 5, negative x plus y minus 2z equals 3, and x minus 4y minus 2z equals 1. So we can use a... The easiest way to, to begin this would be to eliminate x either in the first uh, and second equations or the second and third equations. I'll go ahead and start with the first and second equation. So we'll write those out. x plus 2y plus 6z equals 5. And then our second equation, negative x plus y minus 2z equals 3. Now if we just add those equations, the x's cancel, we end up with 3y plus 4z equals 8. And now we'll go ahead and repeat this process with the second and third equations, so negative x plus y minus 2z equals 3, and x minus 4y minus 2z equals 1. Again, we add the equations because the signs on x are different. Uh, the coefficient itself, the numerical value of the coefficient itself is the same with 1 and negative 1. So negative x plus x equals 0. y minus 4y equals negative 3y. Negative 2z plus negative 2z is negative 4z. And 3 plus 1 equals 1. 4. So now if we just bring this equation over here, so negative 3y minus 4z equals 4. If we add those equations, 3y minus 3y is 0. 4z minus 4z is 0. So we're just left with 0 on this side, but then 8 plus 4 equals 12. But wait a minute. 0 does not equal 12. So we end up with a false statement. So what does it mean again if we end up with a false numerical statement? The variables fall out and we have a number equals some other number that's untrue. What that means is there is no solution.